Hi, I'm Dan Danford, and this is another episode of Money Made Easy for DadsDivorce.com. Uh, helping a little bit this week, talking about the nightly news and what you see on the nightly news and how it affects what uh, you do with your own family investing. Uh, one of the things I wanted to touch on was the, the notion of a recession. Uh, we hear that language all the time on the television or in you know news stories, magazines, all kinds of stuff. And many people don't know what that really means. So I just thought I'd talk about it for a few minutes. Uh, traditionally, a recession had a lot to do with business inventories. Um, basically, what would happen is companies that were manufacturers would manufacture a lot of cars or televisions or whatever it was. And they'd get to the point where they had more cars or televisions than there were people to buy them. And so what would happen is they'd cut back on workers in the factory, they'd slow down their production lines, uh, the prices on those items would fall, uh, consumers would start buying them again, and it created sort of a cycle. And that cycle just happened every three or four or five years in the economy. Now, what's happened today is that people who build things, people in business, have a much better handle on supply and demand. So we don't get those inventory type recessions the way we used to. And actually, there have been periods of time over the last several decades where we've gone eight, 10 years of, of an upswing without a severe recession. Uh, so, so it's not basically the same causes that it used to be, but the interesting thing is, is that they are still cyclical. I mean, when we talk about a recession, we're basically talking about the ebbs and flows of the business cycle. There are periods of time where businesses make a lot of money, uh, consumers are buying a lot of goods and products, and everybody's very prosperous, and then there are periods of times when that all slows down. Okay, and that slowdown is the recession. Okay, we've obviously we've been in one over the last several years. Uh, we've been on kind of a slow recovery since. Uh, kind of edgy right now. You hear people say, "Well, we may go into a, a double dip recession." Uh, probably not likely, but it's part of the discussion. So I think that it's important to pay attention to. Now, here's the lesson I want to share with you. Is that even recessions and recoveries are uh, more powerful in some sectors of the economy than others. Okay, so when you hear this discussion on television, it's really important to personalize it. It's really important to consider how it affects you. I mean, to give you some examples, uh, we know that housing is very cyclical. People buy houses uh, during cer certain periods of time, and then that purchasing kind of slows during other periods of time. Same thing with cars, the same thing with consumer goods. Um, I mean, those, those things are, are very cyclical. There are great boom times and then there are slow times. But there are other products that are less cyclical, like uh, medicines at the drugstore. Okay, people need medicine, whether the, the economy is really good or the economy is bad. People need groceries, whether the economy is good or the economy is bad. Uh, people need gasoline, whether the economy is good or the economy is bad. So people who work in those type of sectors probably suffer less than people who sell real estate or cars for a living. Okay, and you can just go across the board and chances are good you know how recessions affect your own business because you've lived through it. And when we have a severe recession like we did in the last two or three years, Obviously, that pain reaches deeper than it does at other times. I mean, many industries which don't suffer much during a very mild recession do, in fact, suffer when we have a really severe recession. Now, here's my point for those of you who are listening today. All that talk on television or the articles you read and all those kinds of things are very important from a large national standpoint but they're probably less important in your own personal situation, okay? So you need to evaluate that discussion. Obviously, if you sell cars for a living or sell houses for a living, those things matter, okay? If your business is one that traditionally has a lot of layoffs during certain periods of time, chances are good that happens during recessions. And when you start hearing that kind of discussion, then you ought to be concerned. You ought to tighten up your belt, start saving more money and preparing for potential uh, trouble. 
But if you're in one of those other areas, it probably doesn't make much difference to you. In fact, uh, when housing slows and interest rates drop, um, you know, for many of us, that's actually a good thing. Uh, we can actually go refinance our house uh, at a lower rate than when we bought it during boom times. Same thing's true if you're buying a house. It's better to buy a house probably during a recessionary period of time than it is during a boom time. Now, all I'm saying to you is when you hear those stories on the news, you know, look at your situation. Look at the jobs in your household. Are they influenced by recession or are they not? Look at the amount of debt in your household. Take a look at your consumer debt. Take a look at the uh, mortgage on your house, okay? Because uh, when we go into a recession, you might be able to do something about that. Uh, take a look at the age and condition of your automobiles, okay? Because if you go into a recession and people stop buying cars, then the price of cars across the board will drop. So if you're in a position where you might need to replace a car or cars, a recession is probably a good opportunity to do that. Okay? Um, just don't get alarmed at all the discussion that goes on in the news. I mean, mostly that goes to politicians and maybe bankers and maybe investment people. Um, maybe they get concerned about those things. But what you ought to do is take a look at your family circumstances, uh, see how the recession or the recovery affects you, and then make adjustments if necessary. Most times, it probably isn't going to make a big difference to your family anyway. Hope that helps understand a little bit about uh, the recessions and the recoveries in our economy and what you ought to do about them. I'm glad to visit with you again this week, and we'll see you next week on another episode of Money Made Easy for DadsDivorce.com.